Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Radku Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading April 8th to uh, April 14th uh, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that uh, this is going to be a, a general reading for Cancer Star Sign and uh, for that reason the reading itself is going to relate to different stuff and different things and is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different cancer so uh, if you do want a uh, more personal touch meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to um, basically tell you the future about it um, in a private reading that is subject to a private reading obviously and uh, for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of these videos. And uh, there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricing. So that being said, going to the cancer reading uh, now and the first card, which is marking the topic of the cancer uh, week, that is going to be the tree of swords. Followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, a uh, negative approach toward the Three of Swords, that is going to be the Ten of uh, Pentacles. Followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, uh, intentions, goals, aims, and so on and so forth, that is going to be the Eight of Swords. And the last card, which is uh, the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, that is going to be the uh, Knight of Cups. So once again, we do have the Three of Swords as a main topic, then uh, it is the Ten of Pentacles. After that, we do have the Eight of Swords and the last one that is going to be the Knight of Cups. There you go. So uh, Cancers, it looks like that this week is going to be where you are to um, heal yourself from recent poignant uh, poignant event and uh, especially if that relates to breakup you know let's say re you recently have a, had a crush had a breakup and um, your relationship rocked or your marriage rocked it seems that that is going to be the last week of uh, suffering but uh, three of swords as much as i want to present it in a positive way as a topic of the week the three of swords it relates to suffering problems, um, things are going backwards and um, in general that is not a uh, very positive card in in, a, in a relation to one experience uh, when it comes to either projects into one career or either relationships for that matter. Uh, this card would also be related that you are going to be hurt by words, mental cruelty, you know, someone could basically insult you in a very... Um, bad way where you will simply will not be able to shake it off <clears throat> and so on and so forth but the three of swords it's the card where the uh, thoughts of one should not fought with the should not fight with the emotions otherwise otherwise one is going to um, find himself very lost meaning that one needs to allow himself to suffer let's say you're going through breakup with the Three of Swords, you need to allow yourself to suffer through that breakup. Sleep through it, drink through it, make sex through it if you if you have to, you know, you just do your thing which is going which is making you happy outside of this uh, poignant experience that the Three of Swords is uh, is marking. The accompanied card that is going to be the uh, Knight of Swords. So it does look like the the more poignant the situation is the more um, hurtful the situation is the bigger determination and courage the situation is going to exert into oneself into one cancer to never do the same thing once again and to uh, basically move on if i may express myself that way so if that if that relates to a breakup <clears throat> the more uh, difficult the breakup is and the more painful the breakup is, the more cancer is going to be determined to uh, provoke a, a better future moving on forward and never to associate oneself with the same type of individual that makes them suffer so much. And also with uh, the um, Knight of Swords, 
the more you suffer through it, if I may express myself that way, or the more you allow yourself to suffer through it, you are going to start recognizing and realizing that that was actually the better way of how one would have walked away or walked out walked out from that specific uh, situation. So uh, for what it seems, guys, the week itself uh, is not going to be uh, very pleasant. It's going to relate itself with uh, something hurtful to you you know it may not go as uh, drastic as you know a breakup or a, a, a failure into a project or a loss of a job but it will relate to a realization a truth maybe that comes to you which you're not gonna like and is gonna make you feel bad at the very least and um, the best that you can do is to accept it because if you fight against it, you know, if you fight to deny it, things are going to become uglier and uglier and more difficult and more difficult. Uh, that being said, this leads us to the second card here, which is uh, what we should, what you cancer should not do for throughout the week. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. Now, as the, uh, as the first cards could relate to any kind of situations, the Ten of Pentacles has a, a huge variety of manifestations. First of all, as the Tree of Swords represents problems and suffering and uh, going backwards, this card points that you should not make any kind of financial investments throughout the week until this negative so-called energy passes away. So if you can uh, delay you know, your financial investments regarding your business or regarding, you know, a new purchases for home and so on and so forth. That will be, that will be best with this card. Additionally to that, the Ten of Cups, it does point that you should not go through this alone. You can, you can actually have a, a people that are to support you throughout this process, but these are not the people who made you suffer. Actually, the Ten of uh, Pentacles into this position asks you not to forgive and not to give second chances. Giving a second chance only is going to repeat the same situa situation once again moving forward into the future. That is as far as it goes with the Ten of Pentacles into this position. And the accompanied card that is going to be the Moon here, which formation is a passive, uh, passive friends. So it seems that it's going to be very difficult for you to uh, go opposingly to the Ten of Pentacles. Meaning that let's say, you know, you experience something bad, it's going to be very difficult to express it to your friends. You are to prefer to suffer alone, you know, like locking yourself up at home and crying every every night nobody seeing you and then going outside in the world every morning to job to work putting on a brave face but in the same time within you it's kind of like things are not going very well so you have to kind of like once again express if you feel bad that you are feeling bad let's say that you found out that your partner was cheating on you that should not be kept into secret once again but instead you you should seek a uh, advice and support to your family, to your friends, and so on and so forth. The appearance of the moon card here with the Ten of Pentacles, it does point that um, that thing, whatever it is, that created those kind of suffering within you, uh, Cancer, it is better to happen now rather than later, and the very least, you at least know. So let's say, you know, your partner cheated on you, at least you know. Uh, let's say that you have been denied being into a relationship when you have been denied, being uh, taking on a promotion, well, at least you know, and now you can focus on a, a different direction, on a different agenda. Um, I know that the reading, it sounds uh, very, very negative, uh, but it's, it's, just, it's just what the cards are showing, at least my cards are showing, you know, and I know that... Uh, well, my manager is always saying me, you know, negativity doesn't sell, but I just cannot see anything different into into these cards. And uh, I hope that you cancers can, um, or rather, I hope that the Tree of Swords does manifest to you as something very small, as a trifle, for example, you know, kind of like your... Um, 
your computer malfunctions or, or your wandering machine malfunctions and it just requires a, um, a service, you know, a, a repairing service, which is again a poignant experience, but you should not indulge yourself into the emotions, but rather fight against them and um, kind of like know that these things are fixable and so on and so forth. So it can manifest itself like this as well. It's just, once again, it shows a, a problem uh, that is causing suffering, which is something that was supposed to, uh, to happen. And uh, by saying, you know, break up and, and being denied, being, uh, being um, fired from work, I'm just going completely general here. I'm not saying that this is going to happen to every single Gemini, uh, not Gemini, but Cancer. But you need to know that, uh, you know, something unpleasant is to happen or at least is going to be brought to, uh, to the surface because the Tree of Swords could also represent a opening an old wound, you know, and the next of yours comes around wants you to get them back but you know that this person it's uh, it's not good for you or rather like they hurt you very much and uh, it's it's the whole thing repeats itself and it only causes suffering and problems so it could manifest itself that way as well once again the manifestation is going to be different for every single one of you so uh the best possible approach to the situation here eight of swords now first thing with the eight of swords is that one needs to recognize that the situation is as bad as it is it's because the one is feeding it the more you think of it the more you think that this relation that the the, the that this situation can get better on its own accord or it can miraculously uh, turn around itself the more you are to suffer so you like I said tree of swords relates to truth and truth needs to be accepted and just you gotta live with it also uh, the eight of uh, the eight of swords does represents uh, personal contribution which means that if you do personally contribute into this uh, into this um, situation the more stuck you are going to become therefore with the ace of with the eight of swords into this position you got to try to see outside of the box all right you got to you got to try to find a different things that makes you happy so you can compensate for the uh for the poignancy and the suffering which the tree of swords uh is causing you guys Eight of Swords, it is also about disruption in communications in many cases. Therefore, if you just kind of get into the same page with somebody, it ain't worth, you know, trying to push the conversation or the negotiations further, at least throughout, uh, throughout this week. The accompanied card that is going to be the Eight of Wands and uh, the Eight of we do have double weights, by the way. So we, are do, we do talk about a karmic relations uh, or karmic time and as well um, karmic payback, should I say it that way. So whatever it is happening to you, once again, was supposed to happen. That further strengthens uh, my statement at the, uh, the start. And also the eight is about a material, um, how can I place it? Material benefits or working over the material. And uh, with the eight of wands here, with the eight of swords, deformation is active friends. And definitely you can find additional material enterprises which are to strengthen and consolidate your positions or to consolidate uh, yourself. Straight away giving you an example, you know, your husband let's say files for a divorce well with these cards you do have a way how to feel yourself financially stable after the divorce so you can pull out a lot of accommodations that you do have together uh, <clears throat> if uh, you know you get fired from work well these cards are pointing that should you seek outside of the box or should you try to find a different kind of job not just the same type of job but you allow yourself to think of different type of job uh, maybe that job is going to be better paid and uh, as well is going to present you with much more room to grow as well. So this thing, uh, this week, whatever is happening to you, I do believe all well, the cumulative meaning of these cards, the more and more it, sta it starts to sound and look like the tower, one big tower card, you know, where one has to just go through one down. You know, it, one cannot go just through ups, but it has to also experience downs. So one can, one can uh, 
realize that life can expand and is what is what is happening to you throughout this uh, week cancer for example you may have difficult time into your relationship just to realize that there is not just only one woman or one one uh, man in the world or you can experience difficulties into your career just to recognize the, just to realize that you can do something else better and more lucrative and so on and so forth anyway uh, should you follow here the guidance of tarot you know meaning that uh, you kind of like shout out loud what is happening to you not giving forgiveness to those who did you wrong and you look outside of the box taking advantage of any kind of opportunity coming around you we do have the knight of cups so knight of cups manifests itself most likely as a person to you guys that is someone who is very emotionally indulge someone who only do things that one wants that their emotions wants and that is as well a person who does not allow chance to dictate rules. I mean, if there is a progress for that person, that progress it is because a personal performance and not because um, something out of luck happened. So uh, how this person is going to manifest for you? Well, uh, it does depend. If we're talking about the material, uh, the material side of the matter, that person could encourage you to develop further skills that you are not using, meaning, you know, that you are to find a different kind of job that are to be quite more lucrative for you, or at least the idea to start a different kind of job that is going to be more lucrative for you it could be as well an idea for a, a private business that comes from uh, this person well relationship wise obviously the knights of cups is one big suitor but you need to know that they <clears throat> that the knights of cups it's um it, it's a big talker all right so it likes to talk a lot but not everything that they, that he says or she says can be manifested straight away so you have to approach the whole situation with the Knights of Cups uh, more carefully and with uh, some sort of reservations, if I may express myself that way. Uh, not because they are not sincere, but because they want to impress you badly. And uh, you know what happens when one wants to impress the other. They just state things which are not true, at least at the moment. But that doesn't mean that this person cannot make these things true further uh, into the future. The accompanied card that is going to be the Six of Swords, the formation is passive neutrals. And it seems that um, <clears throat> with the appearance of that guy or a girl that is, uh, your environment is going to become more and more stable and in a sense of more and more predictable. And also you are finally going to find someone that you are on the same page at. As we said here with the Eight of uh, Swords and the Eight of Wands, that if you don't have someone to, uh, if people that you are associating yourself with are not in the same page with you, you shouldn't bother, you know, <clears throat> trying to reach consensus. Instead, you know, wait for the end of the week where that person comes around. You are going to have um, a, a fulcrum, a, com a, a cumulative fulcrum here, a, um, a, a common ground which you can step on. And uh, with the six of wands here, pretty much a, a, a cumulative idea can be initiated for, like I said, a private business, new job, or maybe a, a try of dating, a try to just get to know each other just so you can see how compatible you are in order to start dating as well I mean this person is going to make your life uh, not worth your while but become more and more pleasant and as well dappled with more options available because let, let's face it guys when one is experienced really rough time uh, one kind of have that sense that life doesn't worth living again i mean it's it's just it's it's one gray world and uh, this person coming uh, coming at the end of the week for, uh, the week for you uh, cancers it seems that it's gonna dapple the world your world with beautiful colors and you gotta you gotta do whatever it takes or whatever it's needed in order to associate yourself uh, with this person, not that it's going to be needed much, it is just is going to be needed a bit of initiation and understanding as well. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot reading for April 8th to April 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. 
and once again as a general reading it's going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different cancer but if you do want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it in the future that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded services and $15 for the private call services. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye!